Hi, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. Today I will install and test the automatic fish feeder Fishmate P21. Some of the koi that hatched in the pond are kept in a large aquarium for a while and that's where I would like to use the fish feeder so that the small koi get their food regularly even when I'm at work or on vacation. The Fishmate P21 comes in a box with mounting kit and a short instruction manual. Although it's completely made of plastic, the hand-sized unit seems pretty solid. To fill it, I open the case and take off the lid. These two red plates are for the feeding control. I close the slide completely so that nothing will be lost when filling. This plate can be changed depending on the type of food. For lighter food, the smaller plate should be used. I use the larger plate because I want to fill small round 3mm koi pellets. It says you should not overfill the container, whatever that means, so I just fill it about 2 thirds. Now I'm putting the lid back on paying attention to the slot for the feed control. The food seems well protected behind the tinted lid and doesn't trickle out anywhere. The machine is powered by a AA battery. According to the manual, the battery compartment is best to open with a small coin. When I opened it, it felt like the plastic notches were about to break off, but that hasn't happened so far. According to the manual, the battery will last about a whole year. I obviously can't test that yet. I insert the battery into the compartment, activate the start switch and close the battery compartment. To adjust the feed quantity, I turn the feeder around so that nothing can fall out. I set the slider to 7mm and now do a manual sample rotation to see how much food comes out with the setting. Here we see the quantity with 3mm koi pellets and an opening of 7mm. This is too little, so I put the slide to 10 millimeters and repeat the test. This process will run very slowly and feeding will continue for about 6 hours, which means that the food will not fall into the water all at the same time. Below we now see the set with feed control opening at 7 millimeters and the top at 10 millimeter opening. Currently only a few fish will be fed in the aquarium, so I set it to 9 millimeters. For mounting, I screw the supplied bracket in the corner of the frame of the aquarium cover. Now the feeder can simply be put in the corner and can be removed at any time for filling. Now the feeding time is to be adjusted, which is indicated by feeding on the lid. Please note that the machine is rotating counterclockwise. The numbers stand for hours until feeding. The machine is adjusted by a simple manual rotation. Here you see a time lapse of the working feeder. The only con is that the unit can only feed once a day. However, the food is distributed over up to 6 hours. The feeder works with a clock mechanism which is probably pretty reliable. The feeder can't clock up and can be used universally. The use of this makes sense in large aquariums and ponds. I could also imagine using two of these devices with a time delay, filled with different foods or in case one fails. This product works fine so I can recommend it. If you're interested, there's a product link below in the video description. I hope this video was helpful to you Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm Carl the Landscape Guy.